Hey everybody, I have an exciting video for you today because it involves baking. I am going to show you how to make these delicious five ingredient desserts. They're called flapjacks. A flapjack is just a delicious, chewy, sort of oat related bar. Now, Here's the thing, you guys have to promise me a couple things. If you wanna make these, you have to check in with your parents first. Maybe some of you have never baked anything before. Maybe you only have very little of the ingredients it takes to make these at home. So you wanna make sure that it's okay to make this with your parents before you start. And the second thing you need to promise me is that you do the dishes. All right, if all that sounds good, let's get started. All right, first I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, let's get started. You're only gonna need five ingredients to make your flapjacks. First, you're gonna need one stick of butter, which is half a cup of butter. You're going to need one half cup of brown sugar, two and a third cups of rolled oats, a quarter cup of honey or maple syrup, and some chocolate chips for the end. Oh, and you're gonna use a pinch of salt. Salt does make dessert taste better. For equipment, you're going to need an eight by eight inch cake pan and some parchment paper that you will be fitting in to your cake pan. You're also going to need some measuring cups. You're also going to need one small saucepan. Oh my God, so awkward. Why is my sock monkey always hiding in my cooking equipment? Goodbye. Last but not least, you'll need a rubber spatula. Turn on your oven and set temperature to 325. Now we're going to unwrap our butter and we are going to use a butter knife, slice it down to smaller pieces. We're going to pre-measure our quarter cup of honey or maple syrup and also our half cup of brown sugar so that everything is ready to go. Now you're gonna place your saucepan onto your burner. Then you're gonna turn your heat up to about medium high so it looks kind of like this. And after about a minute, you're gonna plop in your butter swirl it around so it coats the pan, and then you're gonna add in your brown sugar and your honey or maple syrup, and you're gonna just stir all of that together. Do not forget to add the salt. I swear it's important. It is a flavor enhancer. All right, after a little bit, your mixture is gonna look like this, and you're gonna let it simmer for about a minute. You're gonna turn the heat off, and you're going to add in your oats. You're gonna measure out two and one third cups of oats and you're going to mix it in to your butter, sugar, honey, salt mixture until it is totally coated. And once again, you are doing this off the heat, your burner is off, good job. All right, time to spread it out in your pan, secure your parchment paper and using your spatula, move your mixture into the pan and pat it down super evenly, filling in all of the corners. It should look kind of like this when you are done. Now I'm gonna trim off any excess parchment paper because it can actually burn in the oven, but now it is ready to go into the preheated oven. So I got my oven mitt on, I'm opening my oven and I'm gonna put it in for anywhere in between 20 and 25 minutes. I'm gonna go for 20 minutes and then I'll check back in at the end, if I think they need to bake a little bit longer, I'm going to leave them in for a few more minutes. All right, now it's time to start washing our dishes. And what do I always say? Only use a little bit of soap. A little bit goes a really long way. So yeah, give everything that you used a really good wash. Dessert always tastes better when your kitchen is clean. Mm -mm -mm, I'm washing my dishes. Oh, oh. Oh, I noticed while I was baking that my workspace was super dirty, so I'm gonna be cleaning that up. So next time I'm baking, I'm doing it in a clean environment. Ooh, so much better. Wow, and I still have 12 minutes until it's done. I could read some poetry, I could water my house plants, or I could even learn a TikTok dance, but don't go too far because you wanna hear your timer go off and check on your flapjacks. All right, I'm gonna throw in my oven mitt. I'm checking these out. I'm gonna give them a couple of more minutes in the oven so that they're nice and golden brown. Oh, okay, they are done. Ooh, those look really good. Now, I'm gonna let those cool. I'm gonna turn the oven off. And actually, you're gonna need to cool them for about 15 to 20 minutes. So you could like do some yoga. You could even go outside. Ooh, now it's time for chocolate. 
Ladies, I would never forget about the chocolate. I'm gonna throw it into the microwave for one minute. And when it's done, I'm going to take it out. I recommend actually using an oven mint. That was a little hot for my hands. I'm gonna walk my cooled oats over to my table and using my spatula, I'm gonna start spreading my melted chocolate over my baked oats. And it was around this point that I realized I had not melted enough chocolate. So you guys, you don't need that much chocolate, but I did throw in a little bit more to melt in the microwave. I took it out and then I continued spreading it on to my baked oat mixture. Ooh, that is starting to look so good. And don't forget, you still need to wash your rubber spatula when you're done. And with the chocolate, your flapjacks are really good enough on their own, but I had some shredded coconut, so I threw that on there. But if you had sprinkles or nuts, you could do that too. Move your flapjacks onto a cutting board. Cut once in half, cut that half into halves, and then cut each of those halves into half diagonally. Wow, that was a tongue twister. And once you're done slicing the whole thing up, you'll have eight perfect triangles to share with your family. All right, so that is how you make a flapjack. If you do make them, or if you do any other fun baking projects at home, definitely let us know. I know I've been cooking a lot. It's definitely a stress reliever for me. And then I get to eat something delicious and homemade. But always remember to check in with your parents before you want to start cooking or baking anything. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. See you later.